Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and I've got a quick update for you today just to let you know that a lot is going on behind the scenes at Apple HQ today. We've got iOS 5 due anytime now. We've also got the new iCloud services going live, hopefully today. And iTunes 10.5, which was released, uh, I think yesterday, it was available for download. And I just wanted to show you something in the new iTunes 10.5, just in case you've missed it. On the quick links panel on the right hand side, we have got a new option appeared, which is called purchased. And if we click on this, it gives you access to your purchase history. So here I've got my music. You can see I haven't actually purchased a lot of music tracks myself. And we've also got books and then we've also got apps as well. And what this enables you to do is that all of your app purchases, for example, whether they be paid for purchases or free apps are now stored in the cloud and I'm on my Mac mini for example in my studio I haven't used iTunes a lot in the studio and all of these apps are in fact not in my iTunes library so I can gain access to those and download them so that they're then stored locally now when iOS 5 rolls out we'll be able to do this on our iOS devices as well so our iPhones our iPod touches and our iPads will all have this ability to download an app that you've previously purchased and have it accessible on your local device. So just to recap, from the iTunes 10.5 home screen, once you've signed into your account, click on the purchased option on the right hand panel and this gives you access to your purchase history. Thanks very much for watching, I'll be doing plenty of iOS 5 coverage over the coming weeks and I will see you all in the next video.